Hey there, YouTube. Um, it's me, Candace, again. Yes, I know back so soon. I just posted a video from earlier today. Um, but I wanted to come on and talk to you guys. Um, you know, as of what it just hit midnight, it is March 28th, and my surgery is tomorrow. Whew. The anxiety is starting to kick in. Ugh. I mean, it's like going through my mind like every second like I hope everything was okay I'm just I'm freaking out I'm freaking out you know everybody's trying to give me um, you know well wishes and you know keep me in their prayers and everything I'm just I'm still just freaking out um, but it's okay to be nervous right I mean it's different when it's an elective surgery versus, you know, an emergency surgery. You know, all you want for an emergency surgery is the pain or something to stop. And with an elective surgery, um, you know, it's it's your choice. Either you can live the way you're living and roll with the punches or, or make a move and, you know, make a change and hope for the better. And, you know, with a change like that, you know, something has to happen and it could be a risk and it may not be. And I'm, it's the risk part that's really getting to me. Um, but I'm still excited. It's just, it's hidden by fear. <laughs> um, you know, some people are, you know, they, they've got mixed reactions. Um, like, for instance, my cousin he, he's a parent, from what I'm hearing, he's upset that I'm getting it done. He, you know, he loves me the way I am. He says I don't need it. Um, he doesn't want me to look weird like, you know, Al Roker and Star Jones. I mean, they're not me. You know, their skin is, they're a little older than me. Their skin is different, you know, and it's a gradual change. He'll get used to it just like I will, just like everybody else around me will. I'm not going to wake up from the surgery and be unrecognizable, like, I feel like that's what a lot of people think when I'm trying to educate them on what the surgery is about. Like my coworkers, it's not like I'm going to step into, you know, that machine that um, Steve Urkel had and I'm just going to come out somebody different. Like, it's not like that. But um, that's what I feel like everybody thinks. So, whatever. Um, so, yesterday, Saturday, was my last day of work before my vacation. So, I'm on vacation for a week. Um, I will be going back to work on Tuesday the 6th, you know, pending that I feel okay. Um, you know, today, Sunday, I'm just going to be hanging around, you know, trying to take it easy, trying to calm my nerves, you know, hopefully my mind gets put at ease because I'm not sleeping really well. Like, I'm, I'm just freaking out and I'm anxious and I'm just, you know, um, you know, I'm just going to try and clean my room up and, you know, do any laundry so that I don't really have to do anything. Um, but I really don't want to be immobile. I just want to not have to do it. Um, but I do plan on, you know, getting some walking in, pending that the weather is nice. Hopefully it's not freezing cold, but I looked at it, it looks like it's going to be raining for the next few days. But, you know, I plan on going to Central Park and walk around and possibly stop by my job since I work right over there in Midtown. Um, you know, just to say hi to everybody. And, you know, just move because I want to be able to get rid of that gas because I know it's going to happen. Um, and, and, you know, just recover well and, and, you know, keep it moving. Um, but anyway, so update, um, they did change my time. Uh, I'll be having my surgery at 1 p.m. instead of 11 p.m. So I need to be there at 11, p 11, I'm sorry, 1 p.m. instead of 11 a.m. And I need to be there at 11 a.m. So... That just gives me more time to freak out. Yes, thank, thank you, Lawrence Hospital. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, so yesterday, you know, in lieu of me, you know, freaking out about my protein intake, um, even though I was going to have to go buy the stuff anyway, um, I just went and bought myself a little, you know, some supplements, whatever. So I just wanted to show you guys what I bought. So I bought... Um, the Zero Carb Iso Pure, three pounder, creamy vanilla. Doesn't taste too bad. Put in some milk, mix it up. Not too, too bad. I mean, yes, I'd rather have a cheeseburger, sort of, but, you know, it is what it is, and this is something that I want, so this is something I'm going to do. Um, I also bought my little multivitamins. Yes, Flintstones Complete. This joint cost me $30 because I was in a rush when I could have got it for like 
12 or 10 at Dwayne Reed, but I got it at a health food store in Midtown, New York. $30. Let me see if I still have the tag here. Look at this. Do you see this? $29.99. It's outrageous. Outrageous. I don't really like multivitamins, and I really don't like Flintstone vitamins, but I'll take them. I mean, it tastes okay. They're chewable. Um, that's something that was required. I have to have chewable vitamins. So, And I also bought um, these calcium chews. So I get my 500 milligrams of calcium in. They're not too bad. Raspberry, orange, and strawberry flavored, fat-free, dairy-free, vegetarian approved. You know, so this might last me for a little bit. Um... So, you know, I'm well prepared. I spoke with my nutrition, um, and she said that I don't have to do the puree completely, but um, I could do, you know, really the protein shake. So, hopefully um, somebody comes in to talk to me after the surgery just so that I'm, I'm completely aware of um, what I need to be taking. Because it's just like I feel like I'm getting mixed information. The nutritionist, she um, deals with um, lap band and gastric bypass and uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomies as well, and... I just don't want, you know, it can't be the same for everybody. It's got, there has to be something that separates the three. So I feel like she's giving me like a general overview, which I'm not okay with. But whatever. I will figure it out. Believe me, I'm not going to sit here and put the surgery to waste. Um, but, you know. So, I mean, that's really it. Um, I am... Going to try and get some sleep since I really couldn't sleep last night. Um, not really because I was, like, panicking, but it was really cold last night. And I was sleeping in my bed like it was summertime, and it clearly was not. Like, I had shorts and a shirt on, and I was freezing my butt off. So, yeah. So, I think that is about it. I will definitely be speaking with you guys uh, tomorrow. Um... And, you know, please keep me in your prayers because I need peace of mind. I definitely do. Um, thanks for all the watchers so far. And, you know, shout out to all those who are supporting me right off the bat. I love it. I love it. Um, and that's it. That's me, Candace, signing out. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Ta-ta.